episode. And today we're going to be Plasti Dipping the Lexus once again. Uh, first we're going to start out by uh, building a structure in this uh, in this garage because we don't want to get Plasti Dip everywhere. We don't want to get paint everywhere. So to limit uh, our cleanup, we're going to build a, uh, a structure around here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now we're just going to go into a time lapse and you're going to see kind of the structure come to life. This pipe is an inch by 10 feet and we're going to use couplers to kind of build a structure and they're just going to go like so so that we can kind of uh, man or build it and then dismantle it. Um, so we have 22 pieces of, uh, of PVC pipe which we're going to make the structure about 20 feet by 16 feet by 7 feet. Um, we have the plastic drop cloth and this we're going to use to kind of uh, protect the rest of the garage from the overspray or any or anything going any further. Kind of limits or makes our clean our cleanup a little easier. Uh, have quite a bit of this, uh, some N3 tape. The bill for this was about $106, so we'll keep kind of a tally of, of what we spend. We uh, we build this frame, put this um, plastic covering to kind of keep the paint inside and also keep the dust out. Uh, basically, just put a bunch of uh, gorilla tape to hold the the plastic down. We put a little doorway right here, so it's going to help us kind of get in and out. And uh, other than that, I think that's it for today. And uh, so we'll we'll be back here tomorrow, and uh, we're going to finish up the floor, get the car prepped, and uh, we'll show you uh, some footage on that as well. And then we'll get started with the plastic dipping. Uh, but most importantly, we're going to get all the uh, the car. Uh, prepared for this, we're going to get it um, masked off and get it, uh, get it ready for playing. Alright, so we got the car in the garage and uh, as you can see we've got it completely covered. Right now we have the area with the boiler a little exposed. We'll cover that up whenever we're ready to paint. Um, until then, we're not going to cover that area yet. Uh, it's a it's it's a pretty tight squeeze. You can kind of see we have maybe about three feet uh, in working space in the in the rear and about the same in the front. Um, the sides are nice and, and easy to get to. The car is clean, so the floors are pretty clean. Uh, we'll dust this down, but uh, next we're gonna go ahead and mask off the car and start getting it prepped for uh, for paint. Uh, so far, we're pretty happy with the way the little um, uh, cage worked out. So we'll go ahead and start uh, taking apart the, the rear deck and the lip and uh, getting those ready for, uh, for the fiber, uh, carbon fiber looking material. As a matter of fact, it's back there. So we gotta get it. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on day three with the car completely prepped for the Plasti Dipped. Um, we got them Space Age wheels, aka trash bags, ready to go. So, and uh, to give us more room, we are able to kind of uh, move the car back and forth. And we'll have a demonstration of how this will be moving back and forth. He's using the force. All right. And that gives us some, some room at the front. And then whenever we need to do the back, we will just scoot it up.
So here we are on the final day of the Plasti Dip. At this point, the Plasti Dip has been laid down. We've removed uh, the protective covers, and so we'll kind of do a walk around and kind of give a give a look at what it, at what the finished product looks like. Pretty happy with the results, so we'll take a look at that and kind of the setup as well. Okay, so here we are going to give a quick walk through through kind of the setup and as well as the the car. We've removed the 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 plastic that was on the glass and the roof and, and most of the protective surfaces. So those that's been removed. And um, basically there's our workbench. Here was the camera setup. Um, the good thing about the cleanup is I'll just be able to just wrap it all up in this uh, plastic and throw it away. I blasted up the car for two reasons. One, to protect the paint and second to give the car kind of a different look and I think both of those things were accomplished with this uh, with this plastic dip. Something that I like about the color is that if I go and park somewhere I won't really have any trouble finding it because it's a pretty bright color. Um, some of the things I don't like about the color is that it's really bright. But uh, the good thing about Plasti Dip is that it's not permanent, so I'm not necessarily stuck to this color. So at any point that I'm tired of it or done with it, I can just remove it and uh, go back to my black car. And I think that's something that I really like about Plasti Dip. It gives you the, the ability to kind of just change your color of the car and then once you're, you're done with it, you know, go back to the original color or Plasti Dip in a different color. And, and I think that's something that's pretty cool about, about Plasti Dip. 